What is going on, ladies and gents? Welcome to Collectors Gone Digital. My name is Josh, and on today's episode, we're talking about the most expensive Disney collectibles on VV. And on top of that, we're also going to address the recent announcements. So without further ado, I'm keeping the intro short today. Grab a drink, grab a snack, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So this past week, VV put out a video of the Incredible Hulk title being slashed by Wolverine's claws. Some people guessed it, and it's now been revealed to be Hulk 181, the comic, which is the full first appearance of Wolverine. According to GoCollect, the last 9.6 sold for roughly 18,000. I don't entirely know when the comic's dropping, they haven't announced that, nor the drop price. I will definitely be going for this one, and good luck to anybody else who is as well. Now the next announcement they made, and I just woke up to this one, it's a license that's already been announced. We knew it was coming, we just didn't know when. And that is Brandalized with their Banksy collectibles. Four different rarities, but two big differences with this drop. The first being that it's not available in the US. The second is that the Ultra Rare and the Seeker Rare have very high MCP requirements. The Ultra Rare at 250,000 MCP points. And the Seeker Rare, a first of its kind on the app, at a million. This means that if you want one of the 88 secret rare editions, you're gonna have to bid a minimum of a million MCP points to qualify. So the ultra rare and the secret rare are gonna be highly collectible pieces. I do also feel like they kind of did this because they didn't get the licensing rights for the US. So they wanted to make it even harder for people who are eligible to get it to get it, if that makes sense. Now what's always funny about stuff like this is you can grab the piece in the secondary market afterwards. The drop price for the set is going to be 60 gems. I do anticipate the price to be way higher than that in the secondary market for one of the 88. But if you don't have the MCP points or if you do live in the States, uh, the only way that you can pretty much grab it is going to be in the secondary market. But remember, waitlist opens 12 hours beforehand now. All right, so we're starting things off with the Platinum Dumbo here. And we do have some uh, collectibles you wouldn't expect to be on today's list or others that you would expect to be more expensive. Let me put it that way. And we're also going from least expensive to most expensive. So like always, I got some fun facts about the collectible and then we'll highlight the price at the end. But the original Dumbo film was produced on a significantly lower budget. And this actually had to do with financial constraints caused by World War II. So this, combined with the underperformance of Fantasia in Pinocchio, is what actually led to a simpler animation style and a shorter runtime for the film. And as a result, it's one of Disney's most economically efficient films ever. If you guys are looking at adding Dumbo to your collection, he's currently going for 137 US dollars. Now we do actually have another Dumbo piece on today's list, so I'm gonna save some more facts for uh, later on in the episode. But moving on, we're gonna have the Golden Moment R2-D2. So listen to this. George Lucas actually got the idea for his sounds from a reel of dialogue marked R2-D2. And this was during the production of American Graffiti. Now the actor, Kenny Baker, who portrayed R2, he often had to improvise the movements inside the droid. So for example, during the filming of The Empire Strikes Back, he actually had to react quickly to keep the droid upright while they were filming in the uh, challenging terrain. So some of R2's random movements is because the actor inside actually had to do it. So I thought that was neat. Another really interesting fact about him is that in A New Hope, R2 carries the secret Death Star plans. But when they were filming on set, the plans were actually represented by an actual disc containing secret production notes and Easter eggs for the crew. So it ended up being this actual real life hidden message, R2 being the carrier. If you guys are interested in grabbing R2, his floor price is 148 US dollars. Next up, we got Mickey's signature. The second appearance of his signature on the platform. Just want to point that out. But during the design of the signature, Walt wanted it to be playful and legible to ensure that it would be iconic and easily identifiable over the years. Since then, the signature has evolved to reflect changes in graphic design as well as branding strategies but it's also influenced the creation of several fonts. So for example, the Waltograph font. So this is a font inspired by the handwriting of Walt Disney, 
but it also incorporates elements of Mickey's signature. If you guys want to add this piece to your collection, it's currently listed at 195 US dollars. Next up, we have the Heavy Metal Ursula poster. Now, her character design and personality were inspired by the famous drag queen Divine, who was known for her outrageous style and larger than life persona. She's an octopus, but get this early concepts depicted her as a lionfish and then later a manta ray before the final decision was made to make her an octopus. Now, although they have eight tentacles, Ursula was actually only given six, and this was to simplify the animation process. If you guys want to add the secret rare variant to your collection, it's currently at 200 US dollars. Now, here's the other Dumbo piece I was talking about, and it's his Platinum Moments poster. So some more facts about the film. Timothy Q, Dumbo's mentor and best friend, he was voiced by Edward Brophy, a character actor who often played tough guys in films. Now several scenes were storyboarded but ultimately cut out of the film, and one of these sequences included Dumbo and Timothy encountering a group of anthropomorphic circus animals who teach Dumbo how to perform tricks. If you guys want to add the Dumbo poster to your collection, it's currently at 202 US dollars. Up next, and I did not expect this one, but we have Flo from the recent car series. So Flo is inspired by a 1957 Motorama show car, the General Motors Motorama Firebird 2. And in the films, her backstory is that she's a former Motorama girl who traveled the country before settling in Radiator Springs. Now we just had her V8 cafe drop on the platform as an entire environment, which is awesome. But this cafe is modeled after real life roadside diners and gas stations from the 1950s. And this is going to be the same era that the car comes from. If you guys want to add Flo to your collection, she's currently listed at 248 US dollars. Next up, we got a comic, and it's from Disney, a Donald Duck comic called That's Your Life. So this issue was published in January of 1966. And to this day, it's one of the most beloved stories featuring Donald Duck. It's a parody of the popular show This Is Your Life, which aired from 1952 to 61. In the comic, he's an unsuspecting guest on the fictional show, and various characters from Donald's past appear to recount humorous and embarrassing stories about him. And if you guys want to add it to your collection, it's currently going for 222 US dollars. Next up, and I'm just going to make this one quick because I don't feel like I need to go into the background of these three characters, but we got the Mickey, Minnie, and Donald Platinum Moment posters. Minnie is currently going to be listed at 265 US dollars, Donald 287, and uh, Mickey Mouse all the way up at 400. Moving on, we got another comic on the list, this time with Uncle Scrooge. So he's known for his vast wealth, which he stores in a massive money bin. And this bin is located on Kill Motor Hill in Duckburg. Now it's going to be filled with gold coins, cash, and treasures that he's collected from around the world. So it's also a symbol of Scrooge's adventurous past. And the many artifacts and treasures inside represent his life's work. Now just like our last comic, I am talking about the secret rare as well here. And uh, if you guys want to add it to your collection, it's currently listed at 550 US dollars. Now coming in at the most expensive collectible on the platform, I don't even have a slide for it. It's an obvious one and we've talked about it a lot on the channel before, but it's the partner statue and it's currently going for 1300 US dollars. Now rounding things off with some honorable mentions here, aka the next five on the list, we're gonna have the Dingle Hopper, the secret rare Little Mermaid uh, Disney poster. We're going to have the Platinum version of Elsa, which is crazy that this is more expensive than the uh, Golden Moments version. The Bakery, which is a concept art piece. All together now, the iconic Steamboat Willie. And Ariel and Ursula, another poster. Dingle Hopper is going for 125 Elsa 120 The Bakery, 107 All together now, 105 105 Wow. And Ariel and Ursula at an even 100 Ladies and gents, that's going to conclude today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. Those are the most expensive Disney collectibles on the platform with some honorable mentions.
Now, my collectibles put out a post after this Banksy announcement saying that there's something else coming. We have Hulk 181, we have Banksy, but what do you guys think is coming next? Because for me, I, I hope those damn gates to the VVverse are getting opened, but... Oh, and by the way, we did also have the Viz Media announcement with uh, the first Ultraman manga. I think it's Ultraman number one or volume one with 259 pages or something like that. So can't wait to see that drop. I'm all for more Ultraman on the platform. But yeah, if you guys have any guesses in terms of what else could be coming, drop those comments down below. But if you enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see in a future episode. And as for next, I will catch you then.